Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna try to troubleshoot the MSI motherboard, okay? So I'll tell you my symptom. Everything is plugged in connected with the new RAM, new CPU, motherboard, we have the uh, M.2 SSD drive. When you plug in the power and you try to turn it on, and what I'm getting is, I'm getting the error code on the motherboard okay so on the motherboard here the indicator of the light you can see that when it start up it has the CPU and then the RAM VGA and the boot so the light jump back to the what do you call the boot and it's stuck at the boot light so the motherboard tells me that hey I have a problem um, which is the boot problem and there's no display on the monitor okay so I have the HDMI hooked up plug it in into the external monitor I have no display I have tried removing the graphics card changing a different graphics card it's the same problem has no display on the monitor and the error code on the uh, motherboard shows just just the boot I'm not sure if you can see it uh, but that would be the boot light right there okay so it passed it passed the VGA passed the DRAM and passed the uh, the CPU but the boot light stays on and solid so how to troubleshoot and this is what I will try to do make sure you turn off the power make sure you unplug your power cable the one that goes to the desktop make sure you unplug it and the next step is I like to drain the CMOS right I like to drain the motherboard refresh and to do that I'll just pop the CMOS battery okay so you press the little clipper so this clipper is clipped onto the battery you pop it out and there you go you just remove the CMOS and the next step is to disconnect the uh, power CPU so this is the power connector right and there's an 8 pin power connector on on the other side of the CPU it's hard for me to show it to you but you need you need to disconnect that part as well which is this one right here okay so I just disconnected the two cables you can see that for your power that powers to the motherboard as well as the CMOS battery the reason why I need to disconnect the power sometimes the power supply still feed some power to the motherboard then you are not able to reset the CMOS. At, at this time, I'm gonna press and hold the power button. You can hear the click that I was clicking. So press and hold, hopefully that helps quickly to drain out your motherboard. What you wanna do is just drain everything out and reset the motherboard and redo it again, all right? So fast forward, let's just say you waited for an hour. One hour is completed it's over or maybe half an hour up to you whatever but I would say at least wait for like 10 15 minutes okay come back you need to pop the CMOS back in okay like so you just got to push it in and press it down and then the power for the motherboard just reconnect them again and also the 8, eight pin power supply and reconnect again All right, at this point here, pretty much we really connected everything. You're gonna put in the power. So plug it in your power again and see if the boot is still exists, okay? And if it does exist, then more likely it's either the motherboard, the firmware on the BIOS is, is messed up. Maybe you flush the BIOS and, and that thing happened and it corrupted the BIOS. Um, or maybe it could be a RAM is bad I will, what I will do is I'll remove the RAM, okay? I'll remove the CPU and troubleshoot one at a time. But I don't think it's the RAM or the CPU because they are brand new in my case. And also the indicator on the light doesn't show it's the uh, VGA or the RAM or the CPU. All right, so I hope it's not my motherboard issue. Um, but yeah, you would have to wait for a while on the uh, CMOS reset. 
Okay, so I hope this video is helpful. If you find the video is helpful, please go ahead and uh, smash the like button for me. And please comment below. Let me know if you were able to solve the problem of your MSI motherboard that has the boot problem, boot error without the display. So I really appreciate if you can just comment below. Let me know how did you do. And hopefully my video was able to help you to reset your CMOS. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching and wish you good luck. Bye now.